Hey, what's going on you savages? This is Thuggy Jr. And I thought I'd do a little vlog to tell you guys what's going on. I just got done streaming for six hours, roughly, give or take. And I got some good, pretty good gameplay. Nothing like super spectacular, but I got a 2KD a couple times. And then other times, you know, it's the other end of the spectrum. But uh, this game, I've been trying to figure out a way to describe it. It's different. You die super quick. There's a lot of maps with multiple levels and multiple as in three or more. So it's difficult to say where the enemy is coming from. Uh, I feel bad for the competitive players. I don't know which maps they're going to use. And, you know, because Black Ops, their maps are super symmetrical. And it was pretty easy to determine, you know, which maps work, which ones don't. And as far as weapons go, I'm having a lot of luck with the AK-12. And I put a silencer and grip on it. It seems to do some work. Uh, there is combat training, so don't forget about that. So if you want to experiment with some weapons before you use your, what are they called? Um, squad points. Uh, use your squad points to buy guns and uh, attachments and all that good stuff. So if you're not sure how it's going to work or how it's going to feel, you can jump in to uh, combat training, test it out, and then figure out what you like, what you don't like, what weapons you want to get, which ones you don't, and all that good stuff. Um, perks, there's, God, I should have counted how many there are. There's a lot. Uh, and, God, what else is there? There's so much to this game right now. It's going to take me a few days to break her down. I'll upload some gameplay, though, me playing some Cranked. I try to play Domination, it's way too much camping and just hovering over the flags and it's really hard to tell where the enemies are going to be at. But I'm starting to get used to the maps. Uh, Stonehaven is ridiculously big. I don't understand why that map's in the game. Maybe when, uh, just so you know, there's no ground war in the Xbox 360 version and they're probably going to put it in the uh, Xbox One and the PS4 because processing power. So it's it's going to be interesting. There are no dedicated servers yet. They're, I'm assuming they're going to put them up when the Xbox One and the PS4 launch. So that kind of sucks, but eh, whatever. You know, right now it's just the learning process, and the learning curve is like that. It's steep. <laughs> so, but let's see. Uh, oh, quick scoping has not gone anywhere. It's a little awkward when you scope in just because... Uh, you have peripheral and it's not all blacked out so but yeah just you know take some getting used to it's an interesting game and hopefully they'll throw some patches at it i don't know we'll see how the, well they support the game uh treyarch has been notorious for doing a great job at supporting their game and even if you guys don't agree or agree with the way they patch the game uh at least they're trying to do something infinity ward kind of sort of halfway did something with mw3 and it just stopped so I don't know what the deal is, um, but uh, I guess we'll see. But yeah, for me, you'll see some gameplay, most likely cranked. I've been playing a ton of it. It's so much fun and frustrating at the same time. So it'll be a lot better when we get some dedicated servers and I figure out which guns are uber nice. And I recommend you guys try out the, they call it the MSBS. <laughs> I like that name, <laughs> but um it's a three round burst it looks just like the famas uh from mw2 so and it it drops people quick i picked one up and just wrecked people with it and i might be putting up that gameplay i'm not sure but uh yeah i had some fun with some friends and all that good stuff so i will be uploading some ghosts soon and all that good stuff so i will see you guys later peace